partners no more. Israel's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu loses the support of the centrist Kadima Party. Its leader, Shal Mofaz, saying they failed to agree on a law that would force ultra-Orthodox Jews to join the military. At every point of decision, Netanyahu chose to stand still rather than to move forward. Every time he had to make a decision, he chose the interest of the minority over that of the majority in Israel. Kadima joined the government just two months ago to work on reforming the contentious Tal law. The decades-old system exempts Jewish seminary students from military service. Most Israeli men and women who turn 18 are drafted into the army for two to three years. In a letter to Mofaz, Netanyahu wrote, After 64 years, we were very close to a significant change in sharing the burden. I explained that the only way to implement it would be gradually, without tearing up Israeli society. Kadima failed to forge a compromise despite being the biggest partner in the coalition. It holds 28 out of the 120 parliamentary seats. Kadima's exit means Netanyahu's majority shrinks to a slimmer 66 seats. This is uh, good news for the Israeli, uh, the Israeli democracy since, uh, you know, with uh, 94 members of the coalition out of uh, 120, we lost the uh, uh, most important checks and balances of the Israeli democracy, which is the parliament vis-à-vis -vis the, the government. But the domestic dispute could have wider implications for the Middle East peace process. Kadima favours broader concessions to the Palestinians. Now in opposition, it's left Netanyahu with a ruling coalition composed of nationalist and religious hardliners. Gerald Tan, Al Jazeera.